Um, that's just looking through the amount of minutes you've played this year. It's the most you've played in your career so far. How important do you think that's been to your development, getting all those minutes on the pitch? Um, I think it's massive. I think for any player, obviously, the more you play, the sort of, the more you learn and the better you get. So, so of course, yeah, with minutes, uh, more experience comes in. So, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. And how has it helped you get into that right wing back position in particular and, and improve in that area? Oh, but obviously, I think everyone knows I really enjoyed it. And and I can even see from the beginning of the season to now, I think I've improved a lot. Like, just the small details in terms of where to be and, and just to feel a bit more secure. And obviously, with minutes, that comes. So, so yeah, I've uh, obviously been happy to to have been able to learn and, and get them inside. So. And it does seem that we have quite a few players that I've heard on podcasts or whatever that have moved from central midfield to right back, right wing back. Why do you think that is? What is it about those two positions do you think that, that allow that? Um, I'm not sure, I, don't, I don't know really, but I think from my point of view, I can only obviously speak for myself, but I don't think my style of play really changed that much. Like I think of obviously like you just play about 20 yards more uh, more to the right really, but I still think you get on the ball, you, you still like do the passes, do the same things as a midfielder really. Uh, you just probably get a bit more forward and crosses and all that stuff. But I don't think my overall game has changed that much really. Um, so yeah. Do you see yourself now as a right wing back or do you still see yourself as a central midfielder who can play right wing back? Uh, no, no, I, I see the boys are joking with me over there about this, but no, I see myself as a I'm a I'm a right wing back, but obviously like I've sort of played a lot of football in midfield and played on the wing as well this season and but no, I, I see myself as a right wing back, right back, whatever you want to call it. So that's uh, that's what I enjoy playing. How excited are you for these final few fixtures and, and being in with a shout of getting a a top six spot. Oh, it, it's 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 really good. It's really exciting. It's uh, you know you come to this end of the season where different teams have got different things to play for. But I definitely think we, in our situation, that's the best thing to play for. You know, playoffs. So um, so yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's massive games, and uh, we you know we just take the cliche thing to say take one game at the time. But I think we're really good at doing that here. So uh, keep doing that. And I guess this is what you want as a player, isn't it, to be involved in something come the end of the season to have something to fight for? Oh yeah, no, it's massive. It's like it's the most enjoyable thing. It's personally for the first time I've had the like a shout out for playoff in a, in a season. So so no, it's it's really enjoyable. It's uh, like the stadium be rocking. Obviously, we know that, and uh, just. Looking forward to it very much. And you've been, you know, you've been involved in in teams that have been on poor runs of form before Christmas, but you're now on a, a fantastic run of form. What's the mood been like, and has it changed at all in that training ground and in the dressing room? Um, I think naturally you you're a bit more happy, and there's not really that many worries and in, in that sort of thing. But but I think to be fair, like this this season, I think from the beginning of the season we know we're a good team, and then you hit bumps and like highs and lows and all that stuff. But I think we've been quite good even in the bad times to just be quite level and even now like uh, I think our focus is really good in the group so I know we have had a really good run but I don't like we, we're not like sacking training off or anything you know what I mean it's every, every day it's, if anything it just keeps being more and more and more and I'm, we're very intense uh, out there and I think we've been really good at just being quite level headed and just you know what I mean take each game at, at a time and is that quite rare in football that you've had that, that that this you know this mentality or have you had that at other clubs as well have you noticed it's the same mm, well not really like, I, I just think this is obviously just me speaking but I think a good teams need good mentality as you say I think if you can whether you lose or win if you can keep the same hunger keep willingness to do well and and improve like that's over time that's where your team will improve as well so uh, so yeah we've been doing well but I think we're either, like we're as hungry as ever to, to keep developing and, and get good results and lots of fans will be thinking and looking at our website saying oh is, is that his contract up what's happening with the future what's the situation with you at the moment um, I don't know like it's obviously it's, uh, <laughs> it's the classic one saying like we have um Four massive games left of the season, and that's honestly that's where my focus is. And it's not really my decision, obviously. It's uh, it's people I don't obviously. I'm a football player. We don't decide what we're doing ourselves, do we? So, so now I uh, now it's just focus on the football, and then we will take everything like that afterwards. And is that quite easy to do? Um, yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's a part of the part of the game. Honestly, it's it's so cliche to uh, cliche thing to say, but honestly, like we as a footballer, we just focus on playing football and. Uh, and when you have something to play for as playoff, it's quite easy just to keep your focus on that.